yourself. Hi, I'm Sunit Singh Thule. I'm the President and CEO of DataWind. We make low-cost tablet computers, uh, including the Akash 2 tablet in India, uh, which we sell commercially as the UV Slate 7CI. So, is the, this is identical to the consumer model that anyone can buy on your website? Yes. Okay. yes. And is it identical to the one that you have a contract with the Indian government for 100000 Right. So, so there are two versions. The version for the Indian government has only Wi-Fi network connectivity. Mm -hmm. We sell commercially both the one with Wi-Fi right. and the one that has the ability to take a SIM. Yeah. So the one we sell commercially can be used as a phone. Uh, right. or really intended for any time, anywhere internet connectivity. Yeah. And that runs in India on, uh, on a different network than elsewhere, right? Uh, on GPRS. India has standard GSM network, similar to what uh, um, AT&T or T-Mobile would have in the US. Mm -hmm. uh, but their uh, networks primarily are the original 2 and 2.5G two and networks. Mm -hmm. uh, the 3G networks are not as prevalent in India, and the 4G networks are not there yet. Okay. So, yeah, let's open it up and just check it out. So, how many ounces? Do you mind if I hold it? How many ounces is this? <laughs> well, it feels like about a paperback. It, it says 320 grams. <laughs> I'm impressed that you don't know the weight. I feel like so many people obsess about that with tablets. But anyway, obviously it can be it's not hand, right? It's, it's um, and it does have a, a USB port on it? It has a micro USB yeah. a port on there. Mm -hmm. um, has an embedded uh, mic uh, and of course a headphone jack. Has a front VGA camera. Mm -hmm. um, it's an Android uh, uh, 4.0 device. Uh, so it runs iPhone standard. Uh, and um, um, has a G sensor in there. Um, and um, so, how long does it take to start up? Uh, well, once you're up, you really shouldn't turn it down, or turn it off. Yeah. Uh, in the sense that, that you, you should always be on. You put it to sleep and you kind of come back on. Mm -hmm. Actual boot up from cold start is probably around 30, 40 seconds. Mm -hmm. um, but again, uh, th there's no need to. I mean, generally it should be like this. It should be on you. You know, you, you uh, yeah, there it is, uh, and and away you go, right? So you should not have a need to. So this is your personal. This is my personal version, <laughs> which, which is also the uh, the phone. So so so, uh, you know, I use it. For, can you for use it to make calls wherever you are? I can make it use it to make calls wherever I, I am. In fact, uh, do you find that handy while you're because you're traveling all over? Actually, I, I still use it a lot more for data. Yeah. Uh, but um, you know, anytime anywhere internet connectivity is very important, uh, and, and, and you know, the have, having the SIM means I'm not limited to a Wi-Fi hotspot. I can be in a New York taxi and still still connect, which is which you know, which is important. So, so could you show us a little bit of the, the basics that, that this uh, uh, just comes with? So so it's an Android four device as, as I mentioned that uh, it has a uh, camera uh, in the device, uh, a small front VGA. Uh, VGA camera. Um, you're on. <laughs> okay. And um, uh, so, and it also has a G sensor, so you can uh, manipulate it in that in that manner. Um, it it uh, has uh, standard Android apps uh, that, that are in there. In the Indian environment, we bundle in a variety of educational. Apps. Uh, so is, that's a big segment for us. Uh, so uh, this is uh, something called the CBSC curriculum, which is a Centre Board of Standard Examinations in India, uh, and, and we partner with a company called Mango Learning uh, to put out. Uh, um, uh, you know, applications. So these are textbooks, so, essentially. Yeah. So we put some e-books on there. Uh, we. Um, you know, put other apps that we think would be. So the first hundred thousand of these are going to go to university students. Is that right? Yeah. So the Indian government is first putting it out to colleges and universities, engineering colleges and universities. Yeah. And they have some additional apps that we don't have in the commercial version. Mm -hmm. So the Indian government or IIT Bombay, who we work, we're working with, has created these apps which are um, 
uh, live assessment tools for teachers, for example, mm -hmm. uh, a, a sort of a remote learning collaborative environment. So a teacher could be doing a lecture for some place and students could be in eight different classrooms around the country and still interact with the teacher and, and interact with each other and so on. So th there are those kinds of apps uh, that, that are in the version that the government puts out. Do those students, do they largely already have computing devices? You see, engineering students in India, uh, at this stage, if, you're, if you are in a college or university and you're taking engineering, most likely you do. Yeah. So this may not necessarily be the you know, perfect um, uh, initial deployment, mm -hmm. but the vision isn't for just engineering students. Uh, the vision is uh, all the way down, all 220 million students or potentially 360 million kids across the country that should be in school. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, 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 that, it's that whole range of, uh, of, of, of kids. Um, and even when engineering students do have, you know, 60 or 65 percent may have, you know, but when you have 30 or 40 percent that don't, uh, that's a big deal. Yeah. So, um, I mean, is there anything else that's special about this deployment or this device that you want to show us? Or is it pretty stock Android? Right. It's, it's a pretty stock, straightforward, entry-level device. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the mobile connectivity is, is unique and, and the, the ability to take a SIM. And we have a special web delivery platform on which we have 18 uh, US patents. Mm -hmm. and, and that is what makes it powerful and useful in the Indian, Indian environment. Uh, but as far as the hardware goes, um, uh, you know, it's nothing too extraordinary and it's not intended to be. You know, the key focus is breaking that price barrier. 